Bernard Atrock for the Boxing Mode. I'm here today at the Eastside Gym in Birmingham. I'm now with Dave Egan. Hello Dave. Hello, you okay? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You alright? Yes, very good, thank you. Brilliant. So Dave is now in the light weight weight division. Yeah. He's coming back after a four-year period um, and he's got involved. You can tell me more about what's coming up for you, Dave. Yeah, I've got my next fight coming up in um, four weeks. Four weeks yesterday, April 29th from Villa Park. Um, yeah, first fight after four years, so wow. yeah, very exciting. That's exciting, a yeah. bit, bit nerve-wracking maybe as well. Yeah, that? no, not just just excitement. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. really good. I think I'm old enough now to get over the nerves. It's yeah, just focus. just the excitement. Yeah, can't wait. Okay, brilliant. And, and why did you obviously work, work, Why did you come out of it? Four years my ago? last fight was four years ago. In that fight, I hurt my hands. Uh, then I, I had a bad back. Then I, oh, <laughs> I then had a bad leg. And then I've literally had a big long list. Of of injuries, I don't want to bore everyone with, um, big long list of injuries and I've kept trying to come back, I've kind of been in and out of the gyms trying to come back and okay. then I'll have another little injury but now this is the first time in, um, I've got six months without any injury, I feel fantastic and it's pretty much my last chance now, oh, so yeah, and John keeps begging me to come back because he wants to do naked posters of me. And <laughs> Of course, it's a handsome Dave, he yeah, does. Yeah, he calls me handsome Dave Egan, and I'm basically just fulfilling John's fantasies. <laughs> the, other, the other night, and this is no word of a lie, the other night he had me naked, oh my God. stark naked, on a horse with a cowboy hat on. Oh, I don't, I don't know where to go with that one. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, he's just fulfilling his fantasies. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's good, good for John anyway. It's pretty fun. Oh, it's good. It's a good one. And then who are you fighting? So you've got it on the Aston Villa. It's on the Villa Park, yeah, the same. Yeah. Same night as the Andy Joshua, the Tony Vladimir Klitschko fight, yeah, 29th. Yeah. They're, like, they're having that on the big screen, um, and then there's a full, full night of boxing. So hopefully everyone can buy tickets, because yeah, two birds with one stone, I think we're at. Yeah. 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 Exactly, it should, it should be great. And I used to do well with tickets, and I'm hoping that everyone... That's it. Um, yeah. Dave Egan, going cool. in at the Aston Villa Ground. Absolutely, come and watch. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Hopefully, hope it goes that well again. As it did before. Yeah, tell me a little bit about the past. So, when you were pro before, what? Who did yeah, you fight? I turned, I turned pro um, because I was about 28, 28, 29. I only, only did about a year, year and a half, I think. Um, I had six fights. I won my first fight. Um, well, six fights. I did break my hand in two places in the second round. And it was my first six round fight, so I was like nervous being around. And in the fifth round, I took a shot and um, I actually got knocked out. Not knocked out, I got up after seven seconds, but the ref stopped me. Um, and because I'd done my hand, then I was out for about a good few months recovering with the hand. And then, then the list of injuries started, and unfortunately, that's just how it went. Um, yeah, so then I had to come back. How did just they they all they've all been proper injuries where it just takes a lot of rehabilitation and any injury can be you know happens. I've played football all my life and I've always had it. You just need to rehabilitate yourself properly. Um, and I've done it now and I'm over them and hopefully it's worth it. Yeah, we we um, we stay on track. Okay. And then after that fight, have you got anything any plans to play? No, this is this is this is all John. Yeah, I don't know who I'm fighting. I won't. I don't even want to know. Okay. I won't ask the question. John's one of the best, um, one of the best managers and matchmakers in the country. And I'm trying to see he's brilliant. He just fancies me as well a lot. He's doing weird stuff. Um, but I trust him, trust him um, wholeheartedly. Uh, so I think he said if we can get this one April 29th, which is on, hopefully get another one in June. And, and then it'll be hopefully looking towards like some titles towards the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Nice. Well, I say I've had six. I've had, I've had six fights. I'm 33, but 34 in July. I ain't got time to hang around. So you know, I'll probably jump straight into a title fight in, in hard fights, and I don't mind that. Um, and then you see what opportunities come off that, don't you? Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you too. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one.